Hey everybody, this is Bob here, Trade Genius. Got my good friend Phil with me today. Guys, they're gonna have no choice but to acknowledge the truth. Wait till we show you these charts. Trade Genius. Okay, Phil, so we have the definitive, definitive documentation of what we call high probabilities of um, I'm going to call it acknowledgement of recessions because we are already in one from a nominal standpoint, but they're going to be forced to have to uh, agree with the assessment that basically the economies are are contracting even on uh, real terms and on nominal terms. Yeah, that's right. And if we look at the chart here, we'll just slide right into the charts here. So the thing that, you know, we've been telling you most likely a recession's coming. Now we're getting down to where we can quantify that we're like one to two months out from a technical recession recession. Again, they're always backward looking on their calls for a recession or identifying a recession. So we won't hear about this for probably another four to six months, but you'll know that we're just about here. And the reason for that is if we look at now these charts, I uh, borrowed from um, TXMC charts on Twitter. So shout out to him for these charts. This is publicly available data. He assembled it in a way that I thought really kind of tells the story here visually. So I'm going to use his charts, industrial production, real manufacturing and trade sales and real retail sales. These are the three main components of the uh, Bureau of Economic Research in indicators, right? These, this is the bureau that tracks all this data and what we reference for how healthy the economy is. And they have a number of different things that they track, but these are the ones that are the most important. Now on this chart, I've, I've circled basically the three that count. And if you look, they're all negative, right? Some, uh, I think the um, industrial production is just above a negative 1%. You know, you'll see it in the following chart, but what this is telling you is that when we get down to these levels, we are one to two months out of a recession. And this is, I mean, extremely high hit rate when you have all three of these things happening the yesterday's video you saw the bank balances were in the toilet that's another confluence there deeply deeply recessionary print on bank balances so you can see all of this stuff is starting to come together so the odds of us escaping a recession is pretty nil at this point so that takes us to our next chart which is showing you where we currently are with those three indicators and so if we slide over to this next chart there you're going to have industrial production uh real manufacturing and sales and real retail sales when they we say real they mean adjusted for inflation so you can see minus 1.1 percent in industrial production at the top there in the middle one minus 1.8 percent for real manufacturing sales and at the bottom that's minus 3.2 percent and we've shown you guys retail is just getting hammered here uh, but negative 3.2 percent deeply deeply recessionary prints so the other component here bob so we know that that's coming we know we got two months into a technical recession and you need to be getting hedged because uh, you know the economy eventually the stock market does catch down to recessions never does a stock market just ignore a recession it just doesn't happen okay the other part of this and we, we we showed you guys the ism pmi number that came out last week and that is another one that is just blaring blaring recession so if you look we printed up 46.4 the fact that the market has elevated from last week's pmi print is consider yourself lucky if you haven't gotten out of this market yet because you can see there under 40 47. Again, he highlighted very nicely on the chart where we get recessions and you get a pretty high hit rate when you go negative or sub 47 on the ISM PMI there, Bob, where you get a recession. Hey guys, if you guys don't mind, head over to tradegenius.co. Check out our specials we have over there. There's a number of different specials with different packages for all different experience types. If you're more into education, we have a package for that. If you'd just like to get into the room, primarily, we have a package for that as well, where you can see where we're calling out trades and things like that live and also posting signals into our Discord signal rooms. So check it out, tradegenius.co. Appreciate you doing that. You know, the red there is when we went sub 47 and you only have a couple instances out of uh, going back to 19, what, the 1940s, 1950, basically, where you don't get a recession. But that's just taking this number into context. You still have all of the economic bureau numbers. You also have the banks in trouble. And I think you're you basically have a uh, recession stew brewing here that you're you're just not going to get out of. And don't forget, Phil, you know, yesterday we had the unemployment report come out mm -hmm. and uh, they 
they revise backwards in time. Mm -hmm. So look, these guys are always lying to you, constantly lying to you. And, uh, Yep. And they're look, they're forced to revise down. And, you know, all these numbers are always subject to revision. And they always they're always painted in the in the most positive light for whatever narrative they're trying to create. You know, Powell is trying to raise rates, so they were paint, painting the economy as strong and robust. Now they want Powell to not raise rates anymore. So now they're they revise everything back to where it was. And and I think they missed the boat. You know, he actually should have been pausing, like when you and I said June, July should have been it. He right. should already they should already be pausing and he should already be rolling over to get it in front of this, what's going to happen here. But they're, they're always, always, always too late. And I don't mm-hmm. know if it's a feature or just a malady of, of these guys. And uh, it's, but you know, people's lives are at stake here. And Phil and I are not just talking about the stock market. We're talking about people's lives, their jobs, their, and their personal investments, not stock market stuff. You know, people that own businesses or moved for a job or bought a new house based on on a, a job promotion, thinking that they're going to make more money longer. All these things are, are reliant upon people's, you know, basically faith in the numbers that they get. And, and they've been lying to us this whole year in order for big money to be able to position themselves for this recession. And it's really sad. And this is why we were banging on this drum so hard, because not everybody, it takes you guys eight, eight times before, nine times before you like acknowledge it. It takes you 21 times before you believe Believe it. And what's happening here is that, you know, and once you believe it, then you have to go ahead and say, should I do something about it? Right. And this is why we're trying to give you guys as much runway as possible to position yourself. I'm not talking about the day traders out there. We can, <clears throat> we make great money today. We don't like really care. You know, we're in and out of markets. We're talking about macro multi-year positioning for your family to be able to what what's going to ultimately be a really, really, really rough couple of years. And you need to be able to have the cash flow and the ability to outrun what's going to happen. And this is what we're right. trying to give you guys. So, you know, we can't escape it. We're, we're inside the, uh, you know, what's that thing when you're with the, with the black hole? We're inside the event horizon right now. There's right. no escaping it at this point. Right. Yeah, I agree. So guys, let us know what you think. You know, here's the data you've seen. Uh, we've shown you a number of recessionary prints in the last couple of weeks. What do you think the odds are that we're going to go into a recession in the next couple of months? We'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Also, we'd love to hear what you guys are seeing locally. So I know some of you have chimed in already, but continue to let us know what you see locally. If you are seeing things slowing down, do you see things ramping up? What part of the country are you in or part of the world for that matter? And uh, we'd love to hear those comments from you guys. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out our specials over at tradegenius.co. Bob, have an awesome weekend. We will be back with you guys on Monday. Enjoy your long weekend and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care, guys. Trade Genius.